another story time. And today for story time, we're reading Be Kind by Pat Z Zietlow Miller and illustrated by Jen Hill. So one thing that I noticed in the title of this book, Be Kind, the title of this book, is that um, there, there's a key word in there. It's kind. When, like, how can you guys be kind? Think about it. How can you guys be kind? How can I be kind? How can everybody in this world be kind? How can we change the world by being kind? Let's see inside of this book. Great juice yesterday. All over her new dress. Everyone laughed. I almost did too, but mom says to always be kind, so I tried. So it looks like we're having a pretty common scenario over here where a girl, she's getting made fun of because she spilled grape juice over her new dress. But one girl had her mom tell her to be kind, so she tried. I like that. I don't think it worked. I said, purple's my favorite color. I thought Tanisha would smile but she ran to the hall instead. When she came back, snack time was over. She put on her art snack and didn't look at anyone. Yeah, it looks like she's still pretty sad and devastated about what happened when uh, she spilled boots on the dress. I almost told Tanisha that art was my favorite class, but I didn't want her to leave again, so I painted purple splotches and added some green until I had some up, I had a bunch of beautiful violets. While I painted, I thought about Tanisha. Should I have ha handed her my napkin, let her borrow my sweatshirt, spilled my juice so everyone stared at me instead? What does it mean to be kind anyways? Yeah, what does it mean to be kind? Let's see. Maybe it's giving making cookies for Mr. Rinaldi, who lives alone. Letting someone with smaller feet have my two tight shoes. He might win races in them too. Yeah, he's get, probably gonna win races in them if it's the normal size for him. Maybe it's helping, putting dirty dishes in the sink, cleaning up after Otis, our classic guinea pig. He's a messy eater. Yeah, guinea pigs are messy eaters. And it's really good to help your parents with washing the dishes. Maybe it's paying attention, telling Desmond I like his blue boots, asking the new girl to be my partner, listening to Aunt Brandy's stories, even the ones I've heard before. Yeah, listening to people's stories even after you've heard them like maybe 8 to 15 times is pretty nice. Being kind should be easy, like throwing away a wrapper or recycling a bottle. Yeah, it's good for the environment and it's good to help people too or saying, thank you, bless you. My mom says the quickest way to be kind is to say, is to use people's names. Hey Carla, what's new Omar? Good afternoon, Rabbi Macklebum. <laughs> That's so funny, his name is so long. Rabbi Macklebum, that's so long. <laughs> Being kind can be hard too, that is right. Even when you know what to do, teaching someone something I'm good at is tricky, even when I'm patient. Yup, your baby brother always needs help with learning something new, but it's so hard to be patient and wait for him until he can understand it himself. Because even though you understand it, he doesn't necessarily understand it, and you have to teach it to him. And sticking up for someone when other kids aren't kind is really hard and really scary. Yeah, when you're standing up for like a bully or something, it's, it's really scary because, you know, he's a bully and he could hurt you. But if you stand up to the bully, then maybe you can scare him away or something. Maybe I can't solve Denise's great juice problem. Maybe all I can do is sit by her in art class and paint this picture for her because I know she likes purple too. Yeah, 
since she knows that she likes pur since she knows that uh she likes purple, maybe she can make a purple picture for her and make her happy. Maybe I can only do small things, but my small things might join small things other people do. And together, they could grow into something big. Yep, it could grow into something very big. As you can see here, some small helping scenarios are going on right here, but we don't know what could happen. Something really big, so big that all our kind of spills out of school, spread throughout town, Look at, look at all those people helping each other. Travel across the country and go all the way around the world. See, look at that. All around the world, people are helping each other in a, diff, a bunch of different ways. And that's how spine kindness can spread around through the world. Right back to Tunisia. So we can be kind again and again and again. See, she gave her, Tanisha the picture and now she's putting it up on her wall because she's happy that she made a picture for her. That's very kind, as you can see that. So, that will be the end of the story, Be Kind. I hope you enjoy. Now, let's, let's take a quick second to talk about what we learned in this book. So what we learned is that even though kindness, you can do very small acts of kindness, like just say someone's name right, and it could spread around all across the world. Like somebody could say somebody's name right, and then he could, he could be happy, so he could go around and help another person, and help another person, and it could spread around the world. Like that. Just like that. Two simple words can change the world. I hope you enjoy this video. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video with your friends. And if you like what you're seeing here, please remember to do those things that I tell you to do before. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. Bye!